What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Palantir. Haven't done a video on this in a little bit, so we're gonna do basically technical analysis and we're gonna be breaking this down as, you, as usual. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here and let's get right into this technical analysis. Now, Palantir, it has been in a apparent downtrend. I mean, we've been we've been really struggling on, on Palantir lately, but today, 9% gain, which is good. So what I was looking at basically on Palantir, what I've been looking at is this yellow line right here. So this yellow line is at 23.45, guys. I've been really watching this. Um, yesterday, we actually got underneath it, and I was like, okay, we may be heading down further because we got rejection. Now, let me explain to you guys why I have this yellow line drawn out. So it's a strong support line. That's, that's what it is. It's a strong support line. The reason why, look how many times we found buyers here. We found buyers over here. In this area right here, what did we do? Gapped up, went crazy, horizontal, whatever. Found buyers here, what did we do? Consolidated, gapped up, went crazy. And then, you know, what we're doing right now is we're basically staying around this support. Now over here, it was a rejection zone. So we know sellers were right here, but then the next day we gapped up. So we know that the buyers and sellers are present on both sides here. And then when we get underneath it, we typically, you know, get rejection. But then what, what the pattern's been doing is whenever we really get underneath this for a little bit, we get right back up. So today, that's exactly what happened. We get right back up, and we were able to hold this level. So that that is a plus for Palantir. That's what I like to see. Now, just because we gapped up today and we're up, you know, eight percent, you know, going on nine percent, does not mean that Palantir, you know, is heading back up to all-time highs. No, guys, we still have some ways to go on that, but it is a start. So staying above 23.45 is a start that. I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with that, and especially if you've been holding Palantir. Now, I would like to mention Kathy. Kathy is uh, part of Arc. She she's the founder of Arc. She's been buying Palantir so much. I, now I made a video on that when she did buy it. I think she bought 2.5 million shares, and the other day she bought another half a million shares. So Kathy Woods, she is very very adamant on Palantir. She believes in it, and. That's really reassuring to see that she's, she bought the dip on this. Now, what I'm looking for today and tomorrow and the rest of the week to close off is so just some type of continuation. Now, great, we got the reversal, guys. The reversal is here, but we need that continuation. Right now, this could very be just a, a relief rally and we just fall down. That That's the scenario that could happen. But obviously, if you're bullish on Palantir and then I am bullish on Palantir, I like the company, then this is the start of that uptrend. But really, guys, what I'm looking for, no matter what we do right here, is really nothing until we at least start breaking this level right here. And this level is right here at 2550. We've got rejected here many times before. And what we're doing right now is just consolidating, forming a base. So no action is really going to happen. This move is nothing until we break above 2550. That's the area I'm looking at that I definitely want us to get back above. And then we can talk about, you know, the reversal truly starting. But even then, we still have a long ways to go, guys. And the reason because of that is because of this last high right here. I'm watching this. So I will not feel comfortable with Palantir being back on the bullish train for right now until we ultimately get above this last high right here. Once we get above that, amazing. Then I'll feel a little better about Palantir starting this uptrend. But until we get above that, everything else is a lower high. Now, when I say lower high, I mean it's in a downtrend. So you have this. Y'all can say that this is the last high. But right now, we're still in an apparent downtrend. So until we break this level right here, we're still technically in a downtrend. So that's why it's very apparent that we get back above this high. But as I mentioned before, right now we're looking good. This is a start, no matter if you're bullish or bearish on, on Pelanger, this is the start of the reversal. Now, not to mention, the overall market is just having an amazing day. I mean, we got the NASDAQ up over 500 points. I, have never, I haven't seen this in a long time, guys. It's been a very long time since I've seen a huge rally like this. And, you know, Then we have the S&P 500 up 70 points. So everything right now is just pumping, looking great, and Pelotier seems to be falling right now. Now, if we take a look at RSI, we can see if it's overbought or oversold. Let's take a look at this. So we still got plenty of room to go we're we were on that oversold territory we were hugging it and even after this nine percent move it's really nothing on the rsi so you guys know that if you use the rsi i don't use it to trade guys but i like to i like to bring it up for the people that do we still have plenty of room so getting past this based off the rsi will not even be a trouble we will not be even in the overbought territory yet 
So guys, just to summarize this video, Palantir, great, starting the reversal, held above 2345, that's the price level, but I want to see us get above 2550 so we can get out of this consolidation period and then we can really start moving up. Other than that, I do believe in Palantir. I love the company, Kathy Woods. She is buying amazing into Palantir and I do think it's a great company overall, especially for the long term. So if you did enjoy this video, I'd like to remind you, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're a new viewer. Thank you for being here and I'll see you all in the next video.